Okay. All right, well, um, Rebecca, we really appreciate this opportunity to speak with Gadsden State Community College students who are sonography students. So thank you for um, inviting us. And the other, my name is Stacy Stone. I'm the Dean of the School of Arts and Humanities. And that school houses the Integrated Studies degree program. And we recently signed an agreement between Integrated Studies at JSU and um, the DMS degree at Gadsden State. And so, um, and Rebecca Southern was instrumental. I mean, it was her idea. So we really appreciate that. And we know that it will benefit your students. Um, others on this Zoom meeting include Michelle Green, who's Director of Integrated Studies. I don't know if you want to wave, Michelle. Hey, Courtney, how you doing? Hi, Rebecca. And I also invited um, Roxanne Stansel, who is in charge of um, transfer admissions at JSU because she'll be able to answer some questions that uh, students might have. And um, I also wanted to make sure that they see her introduced to her. Do you wanna say hello, Roxanne? Absolutely, good afternoon. I'm glad to meet you, Ms. Southern, and everybody else who will see this afterwards. I'm always happy to help, and I'll make sure to put my text number for the admissions office in the account. That's always a good way to get in touch, especially if our schedules don't align. Okay, great. Um, well, um, Rebecca, you had asked that we go over that transfer agreement so that students will be aware of it. Um, so they'll know what will transfer, how this will benefit them. So that's our plan today. I have a brief uh, PowerPoint slide presentation that has some of that information. Then Michelle was going to talk briefly about um, advising, uh, the advising support that is in place, as well as the options for certain sort of concentrations that we had designed for DMS students, although they are welcome to design their own major within integrated studies. And then Roxanne was gonna add a bit of information um, about admissions and transferring. So I am going to share my screen. And let me just see to Rebecca, is there anything that you wanna say uh, at the beginning of this recording? Um, I'm not exactly sure what your presentation is gonna say, so this might be redundant, but um, for students that might watch this that aren't familiar of the benefits of earning a bachelor degree, a lot of the um, sonography positions that you want to advance into in your career will only require additional registries. However, if you want to get out of the clinical setting and move into either education, like teaching, or if you want to move into the um, applications or sales side, which would be working with companies like GE and Samsung, um, all the different vendors that produce ultrasound machines, you would need a bachelor's degree for that. Additionally, um, a lot of hospitals, if you wanted to move into upper level management or leadership, would require a bachelor degree as well. And so and the reason why we reached out to JSU to form this agreement is if you, after completing this degree, were to try to go get a bachelor degree somewhere else, it would take you um, a little bit longer because a lot of your DMS degrees um, being just so specific in nature aren't going to transfer for a typical bachelor degree. And so it takes a little bit longer to get there. So I was really excited that we were able to form a pathway to shave some of that time off. And that's why it's an agreement because it's literally just between our program and JSU. So it's, it's really specific and tailored. And um, the idea is that it just gives you more career path options as you grow in sonography. So we're really excited. Thank you so much. And no, I hadn't covered that in, a, in, in what I'm about to present. So that is a great frame for uh, the agreement that we signed. And let me just share some of this information with you. So for example, Courtney, so you'll know how this will work for you. Uh, let's see. Okay, so as Rebecca said, we do have this transfer pathway for Gaston State students and alumni. So this pathway, this agreement is only for DMS alumni. So you must finish your DMS degree and then you're welcome to transfer to JSU to take advantage of this agreement. And this agreement is in place only for the integrated studies major at JSU. 
So the integrated studies major is a Bachelor of Arts degree. It's a four year degree, it's 120 hours. And it's unique because it is interdisciplinary. And within this major, students design their own major. Um, we also give college credit for work experience to integrated study students. And that's in place for all students, but for the students with the DMS degree, we have in place a uh, process for awarding college credit for your registries. And I'll talk about that a bit more in just a few minutes. Um, also the integrated studies major can be taken in face-to-face -face classes on the JSU campus or online or a combination of both. So it's a really flexible degree that works well for working professionals. Um, again, the courses for the integrated studies major come from a variety of disciplines and departments. And um, for DMS students, we worked with um, Rebecca Southern to uh, group together some courses based on the kinds of career opportunities available to uh, stenographers. So if you're working in sonography in a hospital setting, you may want to move into, as she mentioned, management or leadership um, or sales or education. And in just a few minutes, Michelle Green will talk a little bit more about those, uh, this kind of major that we've designed with those kinds of career objectives in mind. So, According to the agreement signed between the two institutions, um, and as Rebecca said, this is available only to Gaston State students. You may transfer in 21 hours of your DMS curriculum, and we are calling it technical specialty credit. So you can transfer in 21 hours of DMS technical classes. Um, according to state policy, uh, students with a wanting a four-year degree must take half of the degree at the four-year institution. This is a 120-hour major, so 60 hours need to be taken at a four-year institution. Um, so basically, you can transfer in up to 60 hours, and that's 41 total hours from DMS curriculum. That's the 21 hours of technical specialty credit plus 20 hours that are required general education classes. Um, those are classes, for example, your degree requires English 101. That transfers in as English 101, and that's three hours of the 20 hours of similar classes that you can transfer in. I believe you also are required to take psychology, and that transfers in. So that total of 41 hours includes the technical specialty credits and the general studies. Um, and then once you're at JSU, you may apply for what we call prior learning credit. And for DMS students, that's a combination of registries and work experience, and you can get up to 15 hours. You can also take a three hour INS 300 class that um, helps you understand how to apply for that credit. And the registries, um, it's certain registries. And if you hold that credential, that is worth three credit hours. And there are five of those registries. So you can get 15 credit hours for your registries. Um, if you only hold, for example, two of those registries, but you have been working for several years, then you could get work experience credit for the other nine hours available in that category. And I'm gonna show you a little bit more about these categories. So what I've done is taken our checklist and um, I think that we can share it in the chat. Um, and if no one else posts it, I will post it in just a moment when Michelle is talking. So according to the checklist, this shows you those um, general education areas and the major. And I've broken this down so you can see exactly what will transfer. So the general education core, as you can see at the top, the blue are required DMS courses at Gadsden State. What's highlighted in that kind of pink color is what you would take at JSU. And on a uh, future slide, you'll see some green that comes in as according to the agreement. So in these areas of general education, you still need three hours in written composition and a six hours in humanities and fine arts. And I just want to remind you that, let's say you start at Gadsden State and before you settled on DMS, 
uh, degree program, you decided you were taking just general studies and you also took English 102. That can transfer. You can transfer up to 60 hours to JSU. Um, although you do take science courses as part of this degree and a math course, that will show up on the next slide. You do have credit at JSU for those courses, but those are not in these specific categories of area three. So you can still see that you still need 11 hours in science and math and the nine hours in history and social sciences. And this is where you can see the psychology course counts. Here is where the biology course that Gadsden State students take, as well as the math 100. This is where we transfer that in so that you do have credit for those. You're, you're bringing in this, those seven hours um, and you still need 12 hours here. There's also for integrated studies, you need 24 hours of electives. That's any course at the university. And this is where we were able to count the 21 technical specialty credits as well as um, GE 100, for, which is from Gadsden State, which leaves only two hours in this category. And then in the major is where we can count the work experience credit, sorry, let's see. It's where we can count the work experience credit of up to 15 hours, plus your upper level courses, um, because you must take a certain number of upper level courses um, and upper level courses are not available at community colleges. So um, you would be taking those at JSU. And I also wanted to mention that you can see here that it's internship or work experience credit. So if you are moving uh, from Gadsden State directly to JSU and you haven't been working out in the field, your clinicals, um, in a clinical setting or whatever other setting, uh, perhaps it's education. If you don't have at least two years in that position, then you may want to get internship credit instead of work experience credit. So that's the difference between the six hours of internship credit or the work experience credit. And we hope to see you at JSU and graduating within a few years. And as Rebecca said, I think this is probably one of the um, faster paths for you to a four-year degree. Um, but again, it's working within state regulations. So, um, so we, we're giving you as much transfer credit as the state allows. I will put this slide up again in just a moment, but I wanted to um, take this opportunity to let Michelle and Roxanne talk briefly and then We'll see what questions you might have, Courtney, if you have any questions or any questions that Rebecca anticipates that students might have. So Michelle, if you wanna go ahead. Uh, thank you, Dean Stone. Uh, Courtney, thank you for joining us this afternoon and good luck and congratulations on your graduation. We hope to see you at JSU in the future. Regarding the subject areas Dean Stone mentioned about with sales, education and leadership. I'm gonna see if I can share my screen. I've been having some problems sharing screen. So I think it may work this time. Let's see, there it is, awesome, yes. So what Dean Stone has done is break off the courses according to the areas you may wanna study. So say an example, if you're interested in doing the leadership path, there are courses that can gear toward leadership uh, there are also courses that can gear you toward um, management. There's courses that can gear you toward education. However, Courtney, if you decide you don't want to go the sales leadership education route and take those courses that can gear toward that pathway, you can choose other core subject areas in regards to community health. Uh, it could be nutrition. Uh, it could be business, psychology, sociology, or emergency management. So whatever course or how you want to design your own major, we can have those courses that can assist you in pursuing that particular path. And I'm gonna start sharing the screen and we'll make sure that we give this information to you as well. 
Also, it's very important to know that advising is very important for you to register for classes for the particular for semesters. Each semester, a student must be cleared by an advisor in order to register for classes. So if you're interested in coming in JSU for the spring semester, uh, we're currently advising students to register uh, for the spring semester. If you want to hold off and come for the fall semester, uh, the week before spring break is usually when our students register for summer and fall classes. So it's very important to remember that advising is essential and key in your success, in your pathway in being a student here at Jacksonville State University. Last, I want to make sure that you are directed to our website. I will make sure I put this in the chat regarding our website um, information. So if there are any questions you may have that I did not answer, feel free to go to the website and it can direct you toward any questions you may have. And also my contact information is on there and feel free to contact me at any time with questions and concerns. I hope to see you very soon, Courtney, as a future Gamecock. Thank you so much, Michelle. Um, Roxanne, we're going to hand this off to you so that you can share the information that you have, particularly about transfer scholarships and other things. Go right ahead. Um, thanks so much. Let's see. Our admissions process at JSU is pretty simple for transfer students. When you apply to JSU, you just go to the JSU website and click apply. It's in big bold letters in the top right corner of our website. And when you do that application, of course, you'll select our first time transfer application. And then you'll need to send us transcripts from Gadsden State and any other colleges you have previously attended. So if there was another school in the past, we will need those transcripts as well. And the beauty of our partnership with Gadsden State, y'all email transcripts to us in about 24 hours. So once you request those transcripts, it's a really quick process. Once you send those official transcripts to us and apply, we can make an admissions decision in five to seven business days and let you know that you've been admitted to JSU. And as long as you have 24 or more transferable hours and a 2.0 transferable GPA, you should have no problems being admitted to JSU. And then of course, when you apply, there is a $35 application fee. However, if you have been getting Pell Grant funding at Gadsden State, we can waive that application fee. Just send me a text message or an email or give me a call and we'll make sure we take care of that. After applying to JSU, make sure to complete the FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid. Of course, with that, you can take out loan money or you can be awarded Pell Grants, which is money that you do not have to pay back. We also offer payment plans at JSU, but definitely always complete that FAFSA so you can know what funding you're eligible for. And then scholarships, this is everyone's favorite question. With scholarships at JSU for transfer students, it is quite simple. If you are coming to us directly from Gadsden State with at least a 3.0 GPA and 45 or more transferable hours or an associate's degree, then you are automatically going to receive a transfer scholarship. That's our academic transfer scholarship, and that is $1,500 each semester for four semesters. However, if you have that associate's degree and 3.5 or higher transferable GPA, that's our presidential transfer scholarship and you will automatically receive $3,000 each semester for four semesters into your student account and that will pay about three-fourths of your tuition at JSU. So that is a fabulous scholarship and really really helps our students out and those are automatically awarded to you when you apply to JSU. So those don't require competitive application or any hard work on your part just applying to JSU and we review you for those scholarships. When you apply Make sure to sign up for text messages and put in a good email address. We try really hard to communicate with you through the process, letting you know where we are with your application and what funding you're eligible for here at JSU. If there's ever any questions I can answer, don't hesitate to let me know. I'm very, very quick to get back with you and help you out or take my, your questions to Dean Stone and Ms. Green when you're ready to connect with them. But again, congrats on finishing your program and we hope to see you at JSU soon. Okay, thank you so much, Michelle and Roxanne. And um, I just wanted to see, Courtney, do you have any questions for us? Or uh, Rebecca, do you anticipate questions that your students may have? And you're welcome to use the chat or um, just uh, unmute.
Courtney, do you have any questions? Um, no, I think they pretty much answered everything for me. Um, I wrote everything down, but this with this you said this was going to get recorded so we would be able to see the um, PowerPoint later on as well, correct? Yes, I can post that as well and I'm going to send it to uh, Miss Southern. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And thank y'all for taking the time to do this. Oh, it is our pleasure. Um, you've, got, you've also got the links there in the chat, Courtney, of the, the checklist, and um, those are really beneficial. Yes, I've already downloaded them and saved them to my laptop, so. Okay, okay. Rebecca, can you think of any other questions that, that that you have or that you know that students typically ask? I think y'all covered pretty much everything, so okay. I don't think so. Okay, wonderful. Well, um, we look forward to advising your students um, and to this long relationship with you. Um, I've appreciated working with you and we look forward to serving the students. Awesome, thank y'all so much. Okay. Thank y'all. Thank you, have a great one. You too.